Tyrone Prothrow, you might say, is in the money business, surrounded by millions of dollars of other people's money. You work at the bank right over there. In a way, it's the same business he was in in college, just up the street. You're on the high spin list. Mm -hmm. You've got dreams of going pro, but that all ended in, in, a, in a blink of an eye. I had a, a compound break and, you know, broke both bones and came through the skin. And, you know, it's kind of just one of those things that you, you, you wish you, you think would never happen to you. But, you know, it, it just it happened. Do you have any idea about how much money the University of Alabama football program made during the three years you were playing there? No idea. No idea at all? No idea. $125 million. Yeah, that's a lot of money. How much did you get paid? Not a dime. Not a dime. Not even a penny. Let me get to the basic question, okay? The system has changed enormously over the years. It's changed enormously. In dollars. Right. And it's, and it's made riches for coaches, for administrators, for broadcasters, for everybody involved. The only one for the, the situation that has not changed is the player. Is that fair? Well, I think it's, I think uh, something that's overlooked a little bit here is the value of a scholarship. And not only tuition fees and room and board, uh, but also the, you know, your tutoring, you can get the opportunities you present yourself and education-wise, you know, you get uh, medical help, dental help. That being said, as a coach that has been involved in recruiting athletes from every socioeconomic background you can imagine, I, I would like to see the cost of living added on to a scholarship for a young man or woman that maybe gets another three or four hundred dollars a month just to be able to travel home over breaks. But beyond that, they are amateurs and they need to stay amateurs. They have a pro league for football, it's the NFL. They have a pro league for basketball, the NBA. These guys have to, what we have to do as educators, as coaches in the NCAA, is do a better job of educating these athletes on the opportunities they have in getting this education. So if they're fortunate enough to go on to the NBA or the NFL or in the business world, they're prepared for whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, but whoa, for, whoa, the, whoa, for whoa. these kids, this, the, what's, what's being <laughs> offered does not enhance their educational experience if they're involved in basketball or football. It basically overwhelms it. And as coaches, as administrators, as the NCAA, as institutions, we have to let them know from the start, this is what you're going to college for. You're going to college for this. You're not as a way station for the NFL. We romanticized amateurism somehow, and I don't see any coaches signing up to be amateurs. If it's so great, let the coaches sign up to be amateurs and let them continue their studies and get an additional degree or something while they're coaching. We could, the system is corrupt. No one believes in it. No one believes in it. Not the coaches, not the athletes, not the administrators. It has to be destroyed.